Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am Morgan and this channel is all about helping you to having the best travels and sharing a bit of my travels. Today we're going to talk all about cruise ships. I actually worked on a cruise ship as a professional dancer and I even met my husband while in the cast on the ship so I know a lot about cruise ships. I have not only worked on them but I have vacationed on them. So this video is all about giving you tips on things to pack when going on a cruise vacation. First and foremost you're going to need a passport not only for you but for your children as well. When my niece came and visited me, she was one and she even needed a passport, which was so cute for her. When being on a cruise, not only will you have what's called sea days and you're just on the ship the whole day, but you will also have port days. So a lot of these things that I'm suggesting to pack are for more of those port days. Things that you're going to need for your sea days might be slightly different than your port days. So let's chat about those. Number one, I would bring a book. Bring something to do because most of the time you're not going to want to pay for the internet plan or you will pay for the internet plan. It might not be the best. So bring a book for when you're laying by the pool and relaxing. Laying by the pool, you're going to always need sunscreen. Even if you're cruising to Norway, pack sunscreen. Keep your skin safe. When sailing out in the open water, you're exposed to more of the UV lights bouncing off the water. So if you're walking around the promenade deck, if you're out by the windows, please put on sunscreen. Save your skin. Especially in the Caribbean, you're going to want to pack probably two bottles. You're going to go through that quick and it's more expensive on the ship. If you're getting on in like Miami, grab a few bottles of sunscreen before you get on. It's going to be cheaper. Pack Dramamine or seasickness medicine. If you've never been on a cruise, you might want to have that. And also if you know you get a little seasick, definitely pack it. It's something good to have as a just in case. It might be a really rocky sea day, so that's something really good to have. I will tell you when it's super rocky, they give even us crew like just packs of Dramamine for us to take just to be careful. When you're booking your cruise, a lot of the times on cruise ships, they will have a dress code or a themed night. You don't always have to follow these dress codes, but for going into certain restaurants, you will need to follow them. So you'll have a formal night and the men have to wear a suit jacket. Females have to wear a nice outfit. You can't just wear jeans and ripped t-shirts and your swim stuff around into the restaurants for formal night. Every ship I've been on has always had themed or dress code nights. And actually if it's a themed night, sometimes it's easier to to pack because you know, oh, on Thursday it's gonna be tropical, on Wednesday it's gonna be formal where we're wearing a gown. When else do you get to dress up fully and just have fun. So definitely take that into mind when you're packing. Pack a swimsuit. Even if you're going to Norway or Alaska, there's hot tubs, there's pools on the boat, you might want to go into the spa. At least one, you don't have to pack all of them. If you are staying on a ship for an extended period of time, I would pack a little bit of laundry detergent and that's because you can then wash them and rewear them or you can wash them before you go home. I have been on trips where it's a two week cruise and the last night everyone's doing their laundry so they're clean laundry before you go back. So just pack maybe laundry sheets or you can try to get like little boxes of powder to bring with you. If you're going on this cruise with a family, pack slippers. They're a wonderful thing for if you're going out of your room, kind of walking down the corridor, if you have family and they're in a different room, don't go barefoot. You can wear your slippers down the hall. That's what I like to do with the hard bottoms. Or if you need a quick run to go fill up your water. On that note, pack a water bottle. I love my straw Starbucks ones. My husband says I have too many of them, but I love them. So these are great water bottles to pack. Also, I will tag below my favorite water bottle for traveling which is great because it's compact bring a water bottle because they can fill your water rather than having to pay every day for a new water bottle you can fill it some ships especially newer design ships have those automatic where you go up and just fill your water bottle fountain pack a water bottle this is great for getting off the ship as well as staying on the ship when you are coming on a cruise ship bring layered clothes the temperature on the ship might be a little different than what it is outside you might be laying on the deck it's really hot and really nice and then you go inside and it's air conditioned and cool. So bring layers and also you never know what the sea day is going to bring weather wise. It might be a storm outside. So pack layers. It's just kind of the best way to be covered for all weather options. All right. I feel like that covered a lot of the things for when you're on the actual ship. Now let's talk about things when you're off the ship. Portable charger. You will be getting off. You'll be having a fun day and you will not want to have to 
go back to the ship to charge your phone. You'll want to keep exploring or going around. Pack a portable charger and don't forget your cord with your charger. Maybe pack multiple if it's a family trip so that your family is all covered. I love getting off board with my fanny pack and I will tag two below. Also, if you didn't check out my best bags while traveling, I will tag that below. Those are great for trips like these. When you're on the cruise, you don't really need anything. You need your room key, which is connected to your credit card, probably your phone. That's really it when you're walking around, you don't need much. So if you want a little lanyard to put your phone and your room key in, that's great. You can put them in your back pocket as well. So you don't really need to carry a purse, but when you get off, fanny packs are awesome. That being said, another bag that I always suggest is a waterproof backpack for things if you're getting off and going in the Caribbean, if you're hiking up waterfalls, anything that has to do with water while on the cruise, bring your waterproof backpack. That is something that's just gonna keep your stuff safe. You can also get the water sacks. Speaking of water, I would get a water pouch for your phone and you can even use this on board if there's water slides you can take videos, if you're sitting by the pool and you just wanna be careful that your phone is safe, this is a wonderful thing to have. And it's also great for if you're going out on the beach or you're diving in canyons, it keeps your phone nice and safe and sealed tight. If you like to document your photos, bring a tripod. I will tag my favorite one below. It's really small and compact, but it opens up to be really tall. If you're on a family trip, this is able to be a group photo. If you're by yourself, with there's nothing wrong with going and exploring by yourself. You can take photos and not have to bug someone to take the photos for you. I love my tripod. I take it everywhere. It's just a wonderful thing to have. Last but not least, pack comfortable shoes. Don't pick the trendiest shoes to go out and walk around port with because you're going to be out for a long time and your feet are going to hurt and then it's going to ruin the rest of your trip. So make sure you pack comfortable shoes even if they might not be the cutest. I just love a good sneaker uh, especially because the fashion of sneaker dresses and all of that. I wear my sneakers with everything so I always pack one or two different types of sneakers to walk around with. Comfortable shoes are key. You can always pack like slides for the beach. I will tag my favorite ones of those. I get the cloud ones. They're really, really comfortable. I know that was a lot in this video, but there's so many different things that you can pack when on a cruise. And I hope this helps you on your next cruise adventure. You're going to have sea days and you're going to have port days. Think about the two different things between those and what you might need and what you might have thought, hmm, I do need or I don't need great thing about cruises is they don't weigh your suitcase when you get on. So if you're a little overweight, that's okay. I hope you enjoy your next cruise or your first cruise. Comment down below anything that I missed or you want me to cover about cruise ships. I loved working on them and I would love to talk more about them. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Subscribe down below and I'll leave links down below to all of the things I chatted about. And I hope to see you here on another video. Have a lovely rest of your day. Enjoy your travels.